<clears throat> Can you explain maritime admiralty law? Um, maritime admiralty law. Um, what we have is is the law of the land. Okay, um, we we know that know this is common law. It's uh, no injury, harm, or loss, um, fraud, or threat. Uh, essentially, you know that covers breach of the peace, that sort of thing. They're the only actual laws. Um, what's happened is um, the law of the sea, maritime admiralty law, has been overlaid on top of um, the common law. Okay, Mad maritime ad admiralty law is um, the legal system, essentially. Uh, it's based on um, contract law uh, or commercial law because that's, that's how uh, the law of the sea works. I mean, it's the, the sea was used for commerce, you know, trading between countries. And, uh, and that, um, so countries needed to be able to have a common uh, set of bargaining tools as such to, um, you know, to, to trade with each other. But that, that law of the sea has been overlaid here. So now um, statutes and acts, which come under maritime admiralty, are basically contract law. You have to contract with them before it becomes law. And that's, uh, that's um, what, what statute basically means. It's a, um, a, a, a legislated rule of society given the force of law by the consent of the governed. So you give it your consent, it now has the force of law. Until you give it your, your consent, then it doesn't have the force of law.